What's up guys, Commander Alex here, and today I have a great Vainglory Let's Play for you guys. Today we're going to be playing as Cruel, and he's probably one of my favorite characters in the game. I'd say that Sa is probably the best laner at this time in the game, and Cruel is the best juggler, and he really just looks super cool. Also, his abilities are to die for. Yes, I had to make that joke. I've been thinking about it all day. But we're going to move into the jungle here. Basically, what I'm going to want to do is take out all the jungle camps, and then I will head over and see if I can pick up some kills in the enemy's jungle. But before we do that, we do have to take out these monsters. So we're just going to uh, sit over here, build our Spectral Smite ability, which in my opinion is what you should always get first on Cruel, just because it allows you to get a bunch of health back when you're in the jungle, and it allows you to do a ton of damage to finish off fights, which is obviously what you're going to want to be doing in the end when it comes to uh, fighting enemies. But right here, we're just going to take out this monster. I don't know why I used my Spectral Smite ability there, because it really wasn't that useful. Um, but it did give me some health back, so I guess it's not that bad, and we're going to manage to just punch this monster in the face and take him out, no problem, not even using an ability. Moving on to our next monster over here, it looks like this one's going to give us some regen, but before we do that, we do have to take it out. So we'll use our Dead Man's Rush ability just to get nice up and close and personal, and then we're going to take it out with that sword right there. That Spectral Smite ability is going to do a ton of damage, give us a bunch of gold, and we can move on to these final monsters down here. So again, using my Dead Man's Rush ability, it's great to close gaps, and it is great to do some uh, initiation damage. It's also going to be great to take out that monster, no problem. We can move on, take out this final one at the bottom, and that's going to be us going through all of our jungle. Now at this point, I am probably going to want to pick up some energy, so I'll go over here and get the energy battery. That's just going to mean that I don't run out of energy anytime soon. And it's a good thing I did that because Cruel decided to pop his head right there, and we're going to have to take him out. So one thing you want to keep in mind when attacking an enemy Cruel as Cruel, you always want to use your Spectral Smite ability second. The reason is that the Spectral Smite ability uh, basically gives whoever uses it a bunch of regen. But if the if he's hit by, or he or she, is hit by a uh, ability while he has that regen going, the regen will be canceled. So if you use your Spectral Smite ability second, not only do you cancel the enemy's regen, but you get a bunch of regen yourself, and it basically seals the fate of the fight. So it's really easy if you know what you're doing, but if you don't, you're probably going to get screwed over. Anyway, we're going to move into the jungle here. I was looking for a kill, and uh, I was also looking for some gold, but it looks like we're not actually going to be able to pick one up, so we're going to have to pick up the Blazing Salvo, which is going to give me some attack speed, which is really, really nice for building those stacks on the Spectral Smite ability. It looks like we're going to head over here, take out these final few monsters, and then we're probably just going to be hunted for some kills, but they're going to fall into our lap because Kashka decided to poke her head out right here, and this is going to be an easy kill because I have tons of health and obviously my Spectral Smite ability will be great for finishing her off. Now I thought I could actually finish her off right here, but it turns out that she actually got away with a tiny bit of health. So I had to chase her down for quite a while and wait for my Dead Man's Rush ability to charge up until I could use that to finish her off right there for 75 gold and my second kill of the game. But there is no rest for the weary because we are going to have to go after this Saw right here. Take him out too. He had basically no health, so that wasn't much of a fight. But it did end up giving us our third kill of the game and a good bit of gold. So now that we've taken out this monster right there for 40 gold, we're going to have to head over here and take out this cruel yet again. It's like they're lining up for me and uh, I'm just going to knock them all down. So we're just going to do some damage to him. And I'm actually going to use my Spectral Smite ability first in that instance because I knew that it would do enough damage to actually kill him flat out. He wouldn't actually have to worry about using his Spectral Smite ability because he'd already be dead. So that's the reason why I used it in the first place and uh, didn't wait for him to use his. Anyway, right down here, we're going to just do some damage to this Kashka, and I was thinking about actually trying to take her out with the Spectral Smite, but then Saw showed up, so I had to run away, and uh, I'm going to use my Spectral Smite just to do some damage, and I actually did manage to get the kill on her, but then something very, very bad happens, and that is that Saw, my teammate Saw, that is, decides to go in between two enemies. Now, that's a really dumb thing to do, especially when you're team fighting, you don't want to get split up, and it's probably one of the worst things that you can do when team fighting because it means that the enemies are going to be able to surround individual heroes, and they're going to be able to basically power down uh, the powerhouses of an enemy's team. Anyway, we're going to move on here. We're going to take out this minion mine, no problem. And uh, it looks like we're going to have to build some Spectral Smite stacks on her. Um, him? I don't really know if a minion mine's a him or a her. It doesn't really matter, though, because we're going to take it out of no problem, and we can move on with over 800 gold, going on 900 gold. I thought I could take out this saw, no problem. I was very wrong. I was incredibly wrong. Uh, it turns out that Crow was there as well. He had his Spectral Smite ability. He had everything. And uh, I just got completely rolled right there. So that was my first death of the game. I was almost going to call that a kill. Um, but that was my first death of the game. We're going to be 5-1. and one, And so far things are going pretty well. It looks like my teammates are doing pretty well in lane. 
And uh, from what I can tell, they either have either already taken that first turret or they're going to take it very, very soon. But moving on here, it looks like they are about to take it. I'm going to head over there fairly soon to help them out. But then I saw that my minion mine uh, was about to be taken by a bunch of enemies. So I pinged it and then I'm going to go down there and hopefully take them out. Now right here, I did something incredibly risky, but that it actually paid off. So I decided to stick around even though there were three of them here. And the reason that is, is because I thought that I could steal a kill. So right there, I took out Kashka very, very quickly, and then I booked it out of there. And that was definitely a stolen kill, and I was pretty impressed with myself. Um, just toot my own horn there a little bit. But anyway, we're going to head over into this bush, just make sure that they don't follow me. And then I'm going to sneak down here. I saw that Saw was backing, which meant that I would only have to deal with his cruel. And he knew that too, so he's probably going to run away very soon. But instead of doing that, he's actually going to try and fight me. And uh, we don't care about that because we can take about no problem with our Spectral Smite ability. Again, you second there, not first. Anyway, we're going to take out that monster right there, no problem. Giving us our ultimate, which is definitely something that's useful and is probably my best thing when it comes to chasing down enemies. Uh, but we're going to build some stacks of that Spectral Smite on that minion mine. And then we're going to use them to take him out, no problem. And uh, it looks like Kashka actually got taken out in lane, if I'm not mistaken there. Looking at Saw over there, it looks like he's having a little Saw battle with the uh, enemy Saw. But we're going to pick up a Kinetic Shield just to make sure that enemies' uh, abilities don't damage us too much. And now we're going to be able to take out this monster, no problem. I am going to use my Spectral Smite just to make sure that I seal the deal on that and don't give any gold to Saw. Not that I don't want to give my teammates gold, but that I don't like that people steal gold. It's really, really annoying. But anyway, right here, I was thinking that they might try and steal this minion mine, and I was actually right, even though I went out of the bush a little bit early. But it looks like Kashka didn't realize it, and uh, she's actually going to walk right past me, and now we're going to be able to pick up a nice kill. So we're going to head over here, take out Kashka very, very quickly. Looks like she's incredibly low on health, but she's still alive. The only reason that I'm actually going to be able to hunt her down is uh, for one reason. She decides to back. But that being said... Saw was right there, and Saw actually has this cool ability where the more times he shoots you, the faster he starts shooting. So he got a bunch of shots at me, he started shooting really fast, and I actually ended up dying there mostly just due to indecision. And uh, I'm pretty sad about that, but I guess it was a kill for me, so I can't be too sad about it. And that's going to be my second death of the game. So we now have a 4 KD, and uh, I'm definitely happy with how things are going. It looks like my teammates have managed to take out that first enemy turret. And we're going to be pushing through their jungle and hopefully starting to lock them inside their base. So if you guys don't know, taking out that second outside turret is probably the first thing that you want to do when it comes to locking the enemies inside of their base. Because once you take that one out, it means that they're not going to be able to get out without being seen. And that means that you're basically going to be able to hold them inside, though you'll probably station one or two heroes um, just on that entrance to make sure that they're not getting out. And then the other guy will be able to go around steal a bunch of gold, build himself very, very strong, and uh, basically make himself invincible. Now right here, um, I got completely jumped. Kashka jumped all over me. I thought that I was completely dead, but she actually didn't have that much damage build, and I had my ultimate up, so I used that. I used my Dead Man's Rush ability, then I used a Sectal Smite, and I managed to turn the, the tables very, very well. Now right here, I don't know what the heck, I don't know what Sal was doing. He saw that I had that much health, and yet he still came after me, now he's going to start running away, but it's a little late, and he's going to get taken out for 105 gold for me and my 10th kill of the game. So it looks like I'm going to pick up the Frostburn, Frostburn rather, and uh, that's really, really useful when it comes to basically just um, slowing enemies when you're attacking them. So basically what it does is it slows every time you auto-attack an enemy, or every other time, I can't remember. Uh, but that means that you're going to be able to chase on enemies a lot easier, and it's probably what I need in this instance, because Cruel isn't the fastest character. He's not the slowest, but uh, I don't think he's the fastest. I'd say Kaska, yeah, Kashka is uh, probably the fastest. Sorry, that was a weird word. Anyway, we're going to move over here. It looks like Saad decided to hit me a little bit, but I'm not going to have any of that. I'm going to keep running, make sure that he can't use his knife on me, and then I'm going to fight him in this brush, because that means that my minion mind will be able to help me out. And I'm going to use my Spectral Smite to finish him off right there for 105 gold yet again and my 11th kill of the game. Moving on here, looks like I'm going to take out these monsters, no problem. Actually, I didn't take out any of them. I just helped Saw out. But as I was saying, once we took out that second turret, we can basically lock, it, lock them in their base. And that means that I'm going to be assured that they're inside there and uh, we know where they are at all times, which is very, very helpful. And it's probably one of the um, only things that a team that is losing has to their advantage is stealth. So anyway, we're going to take them out. It's uh, basically going to be a bloodbath right at this turret, making sure that we can siege it and eventually take it out. It's down to about one, one third or one fourth health, depending on um, how good you are at estimating. 
but it looks like I'm not actually going to worry about the turret because we can take out that saw no problem. He decided to poke his head out a little bit too far. That'll be my 12th kill of the game, and that's going to mean that we should be able to push our way straight in through this turret. I cannot talk today. Turret, and uh, we're going to be able to take them out no problem. So I did upgrade my ultimate right there. I'm going to chase the squirrel right back into his home base, and uh, now we're going to head back here into the jungle, pick up some gold, and probably build ourselves just a little bit stronger before we finish off the game. Now look at looking at things, it looks like my teammates did want my help up there, and uh, I'm actually going to steal a kill. I did feel quite bad about that. I hate people who steal kills, and I was not planning on doing that. I was just planning on helping out, but I ended up stealing the kill, and uh, that's kind of a douche move. Anyway, we're going to move away here. It looks like I'm a, at about two-thirds health, but that's kind of a relative number with Cruel, just because he can get health back so easily, and he has tons of lifesteal abilities, so uh, his health is a little bit more in flux than other enemies are. So right here, we're just going to sit in the brush. I was wondering if they were going to try and take the minion mine. It looks like they're not, so I'm just going to take this monster over here, get myself some extra gold and some regen, and uh, now I can move down here, take out some other monsters, get some more gold. And for some reason, and this kind of just escapes me, they decided to sit in lane, which is really dumb when you're down on kills and you're basically underbuilt, because that means that you're almost assured to be fought because obviously the enemy sees you, and it means that it's easily... Um, it's it's easy to gank you in that in uh, that situation. So I don't know why they decided to do it, but I didn't really care about it because eventually they came down here to try and take out the gold mine. But we're going to basically just deny them that. We're going to take them out with all of our abilities right here. All of us are just going to just pull a giant wombo combo on them, destroy them for an ace, and that's going to be pretty much the game. We'll pick up the clockwork so that we can use our abilities more often. And uh, now we're just going to run it through the jungle right here, take as much gold as we can, and we'll probably end up pushing once we get the Kraken. So at this point, we are at 15 kills. And uh, I'm actually thinking we might be able to push without the Kraken just because we are so overly built compared to them. He's a level 7, I'm a level 10, and uh, I obviously have a bunch more gold than him. Obviously, in that instance, I was referring to the enemy Saw. Uh, but right here, I'm going to pick up an assist. I'm also going to pick up a kill. Or is, was that another assist? I can't tell. <laughs> it doesn't matter because we're going to get two kills right there, or at least help out with two kills. And now at this point, we're just going to push straight through this enemy's base. So we're going to take out Saw, no problem right there. Again, I believe that was an assist. I don't know why these keep counting as assists. But it doesn't matter because we're giantly overbuilt and uh, we're just going to be able to take out the enemy, no problem. So right here, we're going to sit right on the turret, do a ton of damage, take it out, no problem. That's 300 gold in our pockets. That's a kill for me right there. And now we're going to be able to take out the enemy. Uh, I can't even tell what character that was, but it doesn't matter because we took him out, no problem. We're going to move on to this this turret over here and it was really pestering i really thought that i was actually going to die to that turret right there but nothing really ended up happening and we're going to push straight into the enemy vein crystal and that's going to be the game guys hopefully you enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a like comment and subscription and become a lieutenant today i'll see you guys next time